Gaming, and today we're going to be armoring up the uh, little atmospheric miner we built last time. So let's go ahead and hop back into our character. Uh, first of all, uh, if I can take a look at my notes here, I need to give a f some quick thanks to a Discord user by the name of Corny Queen Has No Weaknesses. Uh, they actually uh, gave me a lot of talking points I'm going to be covering in this episode. Um, and I, I think kind of the roadblocks that, if they're not if they're not the primary ones, are at least fairly common among um, among builders just starting out or who don't really know uh, how to make a ship look good yet. So uh, let's start with what I did uh, to sort of get an idea of what I want to do. As you can tell, there's a few editions of this ship going on. One of them is complete down to the lights over here. Um, so the first thing I did is I actually tried moving some parts around, uh, primarily because I need to fit a second um, pro programmable block in there. So by moving the parts around just, just a little bit, I was able to get this sort of flatter look on top that I tried to carry as much into this design over here as I could. Um, but that's not what I showed last time. Those aren't the parts I showed last time. So I decided to not go with this uh, as the final variation of the ship. Just just a little too much, a little too much change, a little too much uh, nuance that I would have to sh that I would have to go over. So uh, I grabbed the ship and I did what I'm about to do uh, for you guys, which is just grabbed literally uh, light armor blocks, light armor slopes, and rebuild it, or rather armored it up. Just those two blocks. Um, the reason I recommend going with just those two blocks is because there's a lot of different block shapes, and if you get too wrapped up in, uh, hey, what block do I start with here? What block do I start with here? Um, it can sometimes give you a mental block that prevents you from seeing the big picture and getting an idea of what you really want to look like. So this one over here, you can see it's got kind of a crest and slopes down the sides. Um, I decided I didn't really like that, so I decided to give it a try with um, the crest again, but more of a flat, full armored look on top, which was a bit bulkier than I, really, than I originally anticipated, but I think it looks okay. So. This is more or less what I'm going to be copying in this episode as I talk about the other things going on. So, this is part of the uh, first first thing I heard was an issue, and that is picking a design. So, because we already built the components, our design is already kind of picked for us. Uh, if we look at it from the side, it, it starts out kind of low, then slopes up, and then it's fairly level for most of it with the little connector hanging out down there. If we look at it from the back, we have the two engines out on the sides, so kind of nacelle-ish. Um, and we also have this indent here. Um, this is, oh, and if we look at it from the top, we can see that it's uh, kind of roundish, flat, a little more of a bump, more of an indent and then you got the drills so our design is sitting right in front of us all we have to do is just add the armor to it now there is another way that you can uh, create a ship which is creating a ship for the look in other words 
you build the armor shape you want, and then you fit all the components inside and try to make them work. Um, I'm not a fan of that for small ships like this. Um, one of the bigger advantages of small ships is they're compact, because these these components are fairly dense by... Uh, Let's, uh, let's fly this over real fast to a landing pad. These landing pads are 5x5, five by, five, by the way. So I can fit the entire ship inside a 5x5 five five landing pad um, on large grid. Yeah, like with room to spare. It might even be just 3x5. Uh, so, as one of the so because one of the advantages is... Um, being compact, having all the components in a small area, um, I don't really like the idea of building the shell and then filling it for ships like this. So instead, what I recommend is doing what I did and building the and building the look for the ship. In other words, put the components together, make sure they work, and then grab your armor blocks and start putting them down. So. Let's go ahead and start with, actually, uh, you know what, real fast, I am going to add my second programmable block. Uh, the reason I realized I need a second one of these is because I want to add another script to this at the end. Uh, so there will be two scripts running on this. One is more advanced than the other, so uh, that's probably going to be two different episodes. It's probably going to be two different episodes. Okay, so I think I want to do something like that. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. I, I can roll with that, or maybe... Do I want to do that? Do I want to emphasize those engines, or do I want to uh, bring them in? I think... Yeah, I think I want to emphasize them in different. So let's go right there. And right there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Actually, even make this kind of a bigger nacelle, or pseudo nacelle. Yeah, that looks alright. Now, again, I am just using light armor blocks, light armor slopes for this point. For this part. Okay, that's it. All I'm doing is establishing lines to build all, uh, to build around. Now, what do I mean by lines? I mean that I'm literally just placing blocks in a line and seeing how I like that line on the final ship. That is not a bad look right there. Um, so I th think I'm actually going to keep that and sort of smooth it up just a little bit by adding in the slopes. And that tells me, okay, so that my so I have two lines going from here, around, and then through the middle of the back. That's, that should look okay. So now we put down a couple more. I think something like that. Like that. Okay. Now, let's try to try to bring this line around like so bring it down rotate So then I have the same lines I was expecting going around to the back in here. Um, I think I'm also going to move my timer blocks. Yeah, I'm going to move my timer blocks. Uh, just give myself a little more room to uh, play down there. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to move them back here. Because I have repair. It's not being used for anything. Except more armor blocks. So I might as well use a timer block. Make little things slightly more compact without changing the look at all. Uh, that is, by the way, uh, something I do to make ships more compact. If I have a light armor block, just a solid light armor block sitting there, I will tend to remove it and replace it with a functional block instead. So, that's already aligned, so I'm not going to worry about that, but I do want to bring that in like that. Okay. And down from the front, it's going to be something like that. Just kind of smooth it out without making it uh, too, too smooth. And then one going down there, one going down there, and let's do a split line. Like so. And that is actually another two blocks of unused space that I can use for something else if I want. Um, as you're doing armoring, this is kind of where little components might start getting moved around. So with those two blocks of space, um, I don't know of any particular components I really want to put there, but I guess the gyroscopes are fine where they are. That's all probably fine where it is. Yeah, yeah, that. It it's also t completely fine to have empty space down here. Um, you'll you'll run into things like that. Now, uh, at the moment, I'm actually just sort of circling around it, looking for bulk, looking for components that need to be hidden or shown. Um, okay, so like here, this needs to be armored up a little bit more. So let's just add a line of armor, and boom. Now this, I think, is a reasonable looking little craft here. I'm just going to add a few more of these. Uh, sort of keep that look from back there going. Which brings up the next question. Do I want to move engines? Or do I want to use that spot for a light? And it could go either way, it's, it really is a matter of personal preference, okay? Um, I think I'm actually going to move the engines because they're kind of awkward sitting up there with the other lines I got going on. So let's grab our atmospheric thrusters again and put them right there. Now, as you can see, I didn't really change uh, too much of the overall look of the ship, or I should say the shape of the ship, going this way. It's still kind of rounded out, goes in, rounded out, goes really in, and then goes to the drills. But it's a little bit smoother and a little more detailed, and honestly, I think a little more interesting. So, now that we have all of that covered... And actually looking pretty cool. <laughs> Even though this is just using two kinds of blocks, again, light armor blocks, light armor slopes, honestly, I'm kind of liking the look that this is shaping up to have. So, with all that done, now that I'm kind of happy with the lines got going on, uh, ooh. Let's see, do I want that covered up? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> As I said, I was happy with the lines I had going on. I find something I'm not happy with. And what was designing? All right, and let's actually curve it into this one. So, you know what? Let's let's bring it back one more. Boom. All right. Now that I'm more happy with the lines got going on. Um. 
now is when I'm starting to look at this and go, okay, what do I need to slim up? What do I need to make look a little more aerodynamic? What do I need to wrap around into itself? Um, this is when I start, this is when I allow myself to grab other uh, parts. So like right here, um, I'm going to go with this one right here. So like that one keeps the shape I had going on. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. So I need something that is on three sides one thing and on two sides the other. So maybe I'll put that over here. Okay, that looks okay. Now, uh, just looking at this, I think you'd add a little more three-dimensionality if this was in half blocks. So let's go ahead and switch whole blocks to half blocks for this. So go over here, grab this, and start putting in the half blocks. corner right here. I'm literally following the same lines that I just had, except in a different shape of block. And there. That don't look okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't like how that looks. So let's go back to whole box for this part. Okay, so this probably would look best in just full blocks, keeping that line. Okay, so as I'm as I'm going through this, uh, I'm gonna let's talk about uh, the functionality of armor. What is armor good for, especially on a small ship? Um, not protecting it from gunfire. <laughs> uh, armor, as far as protecting a ship from gunfire goes, is basically useless especially on small grid. Armor is primarily about looks, but secondarily about impact. So let's say you're uh, so let's say you're mining and you accidentally hit the go up button or the uh, yeah, let's say you accidentally hit the space bar on PC and go up. What do you want to hit first? Do you want to hit your engines or your thrusters? stranding you in your mine uh, if they break possibly unable to repair it actually probably unable to repair it um, or do you want to hit a cheapo armor block that you can replace or repair probably with just a uh, probably just your welder and possibly a single steel plate uh, that's a no brainer I would like to replace the single light armor block um, instead of the engine. So, that's, that's kind of the, uh, practicality of the armor. Um, also why I put the armor around these over here on the sides. First thing to hit, armor. Uh, as you can see, well, they're kind of in the same area, but I'm more likely to hit the armor than I am these thrusters. And if I do hit these thrusters, it's not like these are particularly vital thrusters, because I have others. On the bottom, same thing, although there is a connector, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, now, how am I going to do this bottom? Yeah, sweeping into there. Uh, when in doubt, by the way, just go back to what I said previously. 
and use light armor blocks, light armor slopes, build out the lines, and see what you think. Okay. And let's build this line. And, uh... Sorry, that looks kind of H on the bottom. that look any better? A little extra bulk on the back, I think. No, I can't remember. Well, by changing that out from a curved conveyor connector to a small conveyor, I can actually put this block here and slope it down, like so. Just keep it like that. And that sort of ties into that level if I want to use that. Um I think I kinda do. That's that's an interesting little bit right there. Alright. So the next thing uh the next thing I want to try to uh I wanna try to cover is the underlying parts. In other words, um, how do you place all these things so that your overall ship looks good? First of all, you need to place them so that they're working. That's what we did last time. I just put them around so that they're working. But once you have them working, you can start to think about where you want the armor to go, uh, what you want the armor to look like. So um, I didn't place I didn't place these thrusters uh, thinking about that, but I did place these over here because I like this sort of I call it a pseudo nacelle. It's not nacelle because it's not sticking away from the ship, but it is kind of on the side. So um, that's something that I'm not going to tell you comes with experience because you probably heard enough of that already. What it comes with is just trying something and seeing how it works. Okay. Um, like that is probably the best advice I can give that's not uh, just, just do it more. Try something. If you're not sure what to do, try something. Uh, try something. Throw some blocks up there. Uh, if you do the... Uh, if you do the light armor block, light armor slope method, and just get some blocks on there, you might start seeing a ship design come out that you really, really like. Like, I I didn't think I'd like these sort of shoulder pads over here, but <laughs> honestly, I kind of do. Um, one thing I do want to try here. Let's see. No, that, that kind of breaks the effect. Okay. So, I think that's actually looking not too shabby, actually. It's bulky. That's good for a miner. Uh, let's see if I can change this up a little. Just add a little more interest. Um, I, I would you know, just add a little more interest. You can go to places that look a little boring and just um, add some half box or two by one by one tips, things like that. And that should help with uh, looks a little. So, like there, let's go ahead and put some blocks over those. And yeah, we are looking interesting enough from the back. Side. Okay, so next thing I'm going to cover is uh, confidence in the design. Like, how do you know when your design looks good? Well, I looked from the side, and my first thought was, "Dang, that's uh, <laughs> that's kind of bulky down there." So instead of using words like, "Oh man, my ship looks bad," or I don't, I don't like how that looks. Use something a little more descriptive, okay? Why does it not look good? Can you use the word uh, bulky? Can you use the word flimsy? 
uh, can use the word uh, too fat, can use the word too skinny, uh, can use the word too flat, can use the word too textured. If you can use those words, they'll really help you figure out what you need to change to make your design look better. So like here, I looked down and I saw, wow, that is too bulky. So I'm going to try slimming it up a little with, I think, yeah, let's, let's try these. Just do one of those. Uh, no, that, that doesn't really match the rest of those lines. So I think it's actually this center line that needs to be changed. those look okay, so I'm going to change the center line here, the half box. Alright, now we got the half box in. Boom. Okay, so, look at the lines we got going on. We have twin lines going across the bottom that kind of meet up, or kind of match up with these over here. That merge into the middle, slash split into the uh, drills, wraps up here, comes around the back, and terminates here, also kind of merging into these lines. We also have these two lines here that start back here, kind of-ish come off of these as well wrap around here like shoulder pads, merge back into this back portion here, come down, meet up with our ejector system, and wrap around into the two lines. So I, I'm just pointing out the lines that I built in here uh, so that you can start building uh, your own lines in your own ships. Uh, we also have a horizontal line with this engine uh, coming across here with these blocks into this engine. Um, and it's kind of continued a little bit lower, slash lowered by this block into this engine, into the drills. So that actually looks okay. Um, let's see, other lines we got going on. I think that's about it. Alright, so. At what point at what point do you consider a ship done? Well let's uh, let's let's turn off our tools. This comes back to the whole confidence in your design thing. I'm flying around this and I'm trying to think of words to describe the overall effect of it. Uh, the word bulky comes to mind the word industrial comes to mind. Um, the word, uh, let's see what else. Yeah, you know what? Bulky and industrial. Those, those are how I would describe this ship look. So, do those words fit what you want the ship to look like? In this case, yes. It's a minor. It should, in my opinion, it should be a little bit bulky. It should be industrial. So, I'm actually happy with how this looks. However, uh, I can also use other words to describe parts of it, like this right here. I think that's a little bit too sharp of an incline. So, let's try narrowing it up. Again, use words you can do something about. When you can no longer use those words, your design is done. So yeah, that matches a, up a little bit better with the slope up there. Um, let's see if I can bring that into here a little bit. Match it up. Okay, a little bit more of a streamlined look. I don't like the streamlined look for this ship. Let's keep it like that. 
and do I want it more streamlined on the back? No. This is a minor. This is not a pretty ship. This is something you use. Uh, let's see, how do I like the looks on the bottom? Not bad, but I'd like a little more white here. Just aesthetically. So let's put a couple of half armor blocks there. Nope. Let's try. Let's try something like this. Okay. If I do that, this slope looks a little steep. So put some like that right there. That makes that part look a little more streamlined, but I think that looks a little bit better. Um, sometimes streamlined works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, this shoulder pad, kind of a distinctive feature, uh, it, it, it makes it look bulky, it makes it look heavy. And that's, that's something I kind of want. This down here looked a little bit just awkward because if you look at our line on the bottom, it's a very, very gradual slope to the back. So it actually makes more sense to have a gradual slope right here than a full slope or than a uh, 45 degree slope. Let's see what else. This right here kind of strikes me as a bit sudden. So let's try. Actually, start with. Start with light armor slopes and light armor blocks. Does that look any better? Actually, yeah. Um, I think. I kind of want to redo this in half blocks. Again, just to see how it looks. And maybe if it looks good, we'll keep it. Mm. No. No. I think it looks I think it actually looks better from the back. Okay, so that does look better from at least one angle. Um, but I think, okay, what if I did this middle part in not light armor blocks? Boom. What if I did that? Okay. On the side, looks a little bit less bulky there, which... On the bottom, I think it's a good thing. On the back, I think that gives a kind of a more advanced look, kind of helps it match up with the top a little bit better. Okay. Uh, by the way, by advanced, I mean it looks like something a super advanced sci-fi civilization would build. Um, which, that's why the pseudo nacelles, I think, look kind of cool. Um, on this side... Kind of matches up with the crest on top, so that's pretty good. Front, I kind of like how that angle is going. Could probably extend it one though. So let's go ahead and extend this angle by one. So leave it be so like that, followed by. Hmm. Not too shabby. Um, I think I'm actually okay with this. Yeah, yeah, kind of the uh, the Okay, so I was looking at these nacelles thing. okay, maybe I should wrap these in here, but no, the whole reason I like 
the shape, at least from the top, is because they kind of look like small nacelles from there. So, I think, I think I'm going to keep this. Let's go and hop in. Do a test flight to make sure we didn't put too many blocks on. Yeah. This is pretty smooth. It is not an agile craft. It is not designed to be. Uh, this is, in fact, a miner, keep in mind. So, I think, I think we are ready to move on to painting, which will be in the next episode. So, let's go and head up, turn off there. So if you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like, it really helps me out. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all later.